Today we are going to talk about life. What life desire is very simple. Life, what life required is very little. That life is not qualified to, to, to bring more sorrow to you. This life is not qualified to bring more sorrow to your life, to you. But only that you did not understand that what life required is very small. There was a man that came to Jesus and he said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother that he may, sell, he may give me my own portion. That is their father's property. Their father was no more. So his elder brother wanted to grab the whole material things. And this young man came to Jesus and said, Tell my, my brother that he may give me my own property. But Jesus, looking at that young man, Jesus wanted to help that man because the man did not understand what life was all about. So Jesus said to that man, Young man, life does not consist on abundance of things man acquire. Life does not consist on abundance of things man acquire. Do you know that with the little thing you have today, you did not see as anything that brings sorrow to your life because you are looking for next level. Do you know that that little thing, if the Lord divide it into 20 and share it to many other people, they will be happy. So because we did not understand that what life desire and deserve is very little, this life is not qualified to bring sorrow to you. Let me tell you, when you see a man that have houses all over the world all parts of the world and that have more than 10 houses and 10 buildings here and there and another man that just living in a two-bedroom flat do you know when you build house here and there how many rooms will you sleep at a time only one room and even inside that one room you cannot occupy the whole room when you decide to buy a car you have more than two cars three cars five cars 20 cars and you are still desiring and deserving and, and looking for more let me ask you how many cars are you going to drive at a time only one and even that one car you are going to drive you discover that there are many empty seats in that your car that is to tell us that what life desire is very little man did not understand life i pray that the lord will open your eyes to see that what life require is very small this young man jesus delivered him from the troubles and sorrows life want to throw to him through misunderstanding and miscalculation of life he thought that by grabbing everything that he will be more happy by grabbing everything that makes him to live well but jesus pointed to him and said young man life does not require an abundance of things man acquire anything you have now can make you happy if you want to be happy you can be happy understand life that your wife you do not value anymore your wife you are no longer cherishing there is no difference between that your wife and another woman outside and most of the time i have come to discover that your wife at home is more better than the one you are looking for outside you do not understand life somebody tell you how he's doing well how things are moving with him how he's buying this and buying that how prosperous he is how blessing god is bringing on his way and you allow those things to bring sorrow to your life because you are living a life of competition you are living a life of competition you are comparing yourself to another life requires just little thing little thing is what life requires this life is demand little little a man will heap up millions and billions in his account. How many will he spend? I discovered that what a man benefits in this life mainly is the food. What he eats with, with his mouth. That is the only thing he benefits. All other things, all the achievements, all the building and all the cars and investment, though they are good, but he did not enjoy them because he is leaving it behind after his death. Try to be happy. Try to be happy. God bless you. See you next time.